And there we are. Hi there. Welcome to Beers, Bowls, and Banter. As the title may suggest, this is a 21 plus show. If you're under 21, get the heck out. Or at least 18. I don't know. I don't know how the law works with that stuff. So. Uh, I'm gonna have a beer. I'm gonna smoke a bowl. I'm gonna talk about whatever I want. Today, I found vampire fangs in a box in my room. So naturally, I put them on, and they are stuck down pretty good. So, pardon my lisp. windier out here than you think. I know it's hard to tell without my hair in the way, and sorry for being silent for so long. Um, I always have so much to talk about until I start talking. Well, that's the way with social anxiety. Even though there's nobody else here, it's just my goddamn phone. And that's kind of the reason that I want to do this, to get into the flow of talking a lot easier. Because it's a lot less awkward when there's not actually another person here. Because usually this would stay internal. When I have nothing to say, I say nothing. Instead of spewing nothing. <laughs> but hopefully I can learn how to turn that spewing nothing into yes and, comedy, improv, whatever. I want to be funny, so that's what I'm going to do. Charlie, here we are. <coughs> you can see a spot on my hat from where I painted it. <coughs> painted my hat um, because I was painting on canvases with my hands. And then I had paint on my hands, so I wiped it on my hat. And that's how that went. <laughs> Well, that's the kind of story I'd like to know how to tell in a more interesting, less awkward way. I'm aware of how awkward this video is, and that's kind of the point. This is one take, by the way. All this is one take. And I mean, this is the first and only one I'm recording. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> um, trees are good. I like trees. See those three trees? Those are just the ones behind me. I live in Maine. We got some good-ass trees. <laughs> really though, there's a, uh, there's a stretch of bridge just down the road that gets so pretty for about two weeks in fall and then it turns brown. <sighs> the whole thing. It's like a spectacle. I, I look forward to coming home from college to see it. That was until I dropped out of college. Now I just have to drive down the road. <laughs> I dropped out of college because college is hard. And it's not worth it if you don't know what you want to do. Even if you think you know what you want to do, if it's not actually what you want to do, which is what happened to me, I did what my parents thought I wanted to do. Which is no good. Just say you're undeclared if you don't know. Don't do the, the, the way you think would be good in the future times. Do what you think is good now or wait. Don't go to college until they fix it, basically. It's... They took my money and they will, they will never give it back. I don't have a degree and I have thousands of dollars in debt. Don't go to college. 
not in America. I attended university for three years. <clears throat> well, two and a half. But <clears throat> for those two and a half, well, three years, <coughs> I was studying geology. And um, that was, I don't regret taking classes in geology. I regret declaring it as my major because that's what everybody associates with me now. And I'm awful at it. <laughs> Of every science class I've ever taken, those three geology-based classes I took, those three high-level geology classes, it was mineralogy, petrology, and superficial geology. They were hell. <laughs> they were so hard. It's, I don't know, my brain is not built for that. But one section of the mineralogy stood out to me, and that was the crystallography. And I, I use that a lot in my day-to-day, -day, as, uh, as weird as that sounds, because now I am a witch. Uh, a practicing pagan Wiccan. I want to call myself a witch so I can. That's one of the great things about paganism. <laughs> I was born and raised a Christian, and I still, uh, I still hold Christ as one of my deities, which sounds odd to say. I know it does, but look at me. Um, As it was explained to me by my sister who introduced me to Wicca and paganism, the whole point is that you practice your way. It's personally your one and only to you religion. Nobody else has it the way that you do unless you were instructing them, which then it's like a full-blown church. So my religion can be whatever I want it to be. So it will be what I've always believed. Because what I've always believed has not been what I've always been taught. Because I have legitimately always believed and now have found a new reason to believe that every god from every religion is real if you believe in them, which people do, so they are. <laughs> and the pagan religions, which basically is anything that's not Christian, <laughs> excuse me, beer. The pagan religions, which is anything that's not Christian, have deities and gods out the wazoo, which are associated with different creatures and plants and minerals and things in this earth. So, um, example, my sister found herself being drawn to orange things recently. All of her foods were orange. She was wearing orange very often. Her, like, she was just noticing orange everywhere. So she looked up cor correspondences for the color orange, along with a few other things, ravens and crows, that she's been noticing that she's been seeing a lot. And she took those as signs as a deity trying to reach out to her. And she discovered that the color orange, as well as ravens and crows, basically black birds, are associated with the Norse god Odin. And she is already a Norse pagan who worships Thor. So she is now adopting Odin into her worship circle, I guess. So she is now leaving offerings for both Thor and Odin. And that is part of her religious practices. I, on the other hand, like I said, I keep Jesus Christ, so I guess I'm a Christian pagan, but also 
Aphrodite reached out to me. <laughs> so I guess I'm a Greek pantheon, Christian, Christian, Greek, Greek Christian. I'm a witch. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's as simple as I can put it, is that I'm a witch, because that's the simplest, the only way to say it. Because there's no other definition for mixing together, uh, worshipping one goddess from the Greek pantheon, and what some people believe to be a very mortal prophet. Uh, which, I'm not exactly sure how that works, really. Um, but, um, I... It's hard to explain if you don't already know, but I highly recommend looking into it if you're curious. I highly recommend looking into anything you're curious about is the thing. With the internet, cause you, you can. You can look into anything you're curious about. It's kind of amazing if you compare it to cavemen days who didn't know shit about nothing. <laughs> Windy as all hell. I hope that microphone flash doesn't mean that it's not been recording. Oh. If that means it's not been recording, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad. I need to just check this real quick.